Hey guys, Happy New Year, and uh, this is the international fan reaction uh, for Wolves' first game of the season, which is Watford 2, Wolves 1. So without any further ado, let's go around the world. Hello Dave, fellow Wolves fans. Uh, Brian from Hatchow, Samran in Thailand, uh, wishing everybody a happy and prosperous 2020. Um, thinking back 10 years ago when we entered a new decade, we had the likes of uh, Mick McCarthy and then we had uh, who can remember Stoll, Sol Beckham or whatever his name is. We had uh, who else? Paul Lambert, Kenny Jacket, give credit where credit's due, Kenny Jacket did get us up. Uh, ooh, Dean Saunders. Dean Saunders is a temporary one, oh, dear Christ almighty. And some players, Jamie O'Hara, Roger Johnson, the likes, uh, the journeyman of Leon Clark. Uh, but we're now into 2020 and have been sort of like, uh, uh, wouldn't, want it, wouldn't want to wish it any other way. Yesterday's game, just frustration. It's just frustration that we can't, how can you say? Have two halves together. You know, it was just it was just frustration, inconsistency, getting beat. But um, overall, uh, first ten minutes, Watford had the best of us. Uh, we grew into the game for a period of about 15, 20 minutes. Should have got, should have got in front. You know, there was a ball throw from Cody through to uh, a, a, a Doc Doherty. Uh, it was blocked by Foster in the goal. Raul Jimenez, uh, blazed two yards wide uh, when it was easier at the target. Neto, uh, Neto went down in the box, tripped. Yellow card was harsh because he did get to the ball first, but you know, muppet of a referee again. There was another time before that he cut in from the left hand side. Deb debatable free kick on the uh, on the edge of the area but was never given and uh, then go up the other end and uh, unfortunately Den Donker made a mistake passed it back their fella come in laid it off Delafeu and uh, stuck it home second half came out uh, Raul gave the ball away in midfield they went through got a, uh, got a second goal through a deflected uh, deflection from Conor Godi um, we got back into the game for a couple of substitutions. Neto, Neto's goal was uh, from a, a wicked deflection, uh, but we just couldn't get an equaliser. Uh, there was one or two performances which were below standard. Matt Doherty was a little bit off. Raul Jimenez was uh, wasn't the player we all know. Martino was a little bit off, but. Uh, just frustrated with the result, you know. My my gut feeling is um, cup game this Saturday. You'll probably find about six, seven, eight changes. But uh, in the interim, I hope uh, everybody's okay, and uh, we'll speak again next week. Take care, guys. Happy New Year. Bye -bye. Hey, Dave Wolfman, Jeff, coming at you here in Alabama. I uh, wanted to take a moment to reflect on the Watford match today. I didn't want to do it right away because I was a little more upset actually with today's match than I was with the Liverpool match. And because I can't focus on uh, things like VAR and I can't say that there was uh, something external that caused us the loss, Wolves lost this match. Uh, so that was that was frustrating uh, with as well as we've been playing Nuno has been uh, last couple of matches been doing some rotations and I can't really blame that because I can't pick a one particular player that really uh, fell because it was seemed like across the board quality was lower than it was I do pick out a few positives and I think the probably the biggest takeaway I have from this which is a plus is Neto finally got his Premier League goal uh, we had chances we could not finish today and that was so frustrating and when Watford went down to 10 men uh, they seemed to to defend even better 
Uh, so that seemed to like wake up Watford more than it woke up us. And that was, uh, that was pretty frustrating. Take a breath. <sighs> Onward, upward. We're on to the FA Cup against Man United. And we're going to regroup. We're just going to make a blip. I know it's two losses. First time since September we've had two losses in a row. But we're going to move on, Dave. Uh, we got things to work on, but I don't think we need to get rid of players. I do hope we do add in the January transfer window, but I'm not long-term concerned. I'm just frustrated for today. Hey, this has been Wolfman Jeff coming at you. Hi, Dave. It's Keith from Australia coming in live from the shed again. So let me put this scenario to you. Wolves have three games in five days. The first two games are against the two best teams in the Premier League. The double winning champions and the champions elect. And the team that probably shouldn't have won, shouldn't have lost the, champ the uh, Premier Championship last year. So, five days. The third game, even though it's against a lower side, it's against the side all the way down in Watford from Wolverhampton. That's a bit of a travel. And they're playing the best football of their season with a new manager, a new confidence, and it appears that they've got their moxie back. So how do you think Wolves are going to go in that situation? They've played more games than everyone in the whole Premier League. They've got the smallest and the second youngest uh, team in the system in the Premier League. So how do you think they're going to go? Well... This is a fear for me. This is all the things that were wrapped around my thoughts for this week's game. And what I feared happened. Wolves lost. Wolves played like garbage in the first half. Improved dramatically in the second. But as we know, that wasn't good enough. The great thing, the only good thing about this game was that Neto scored his first goal after the Liverpool uh, drama. Disappointment. That was good to see. Took a huge deflection, but who cares? So did their second goal. So, here we go. Another loss. Another poor first half. Nowhere near enough to get the second half. More VAR drama, according to the... Um, to the... Uh, match commentators. Wool should have uh, got a penalty when Neto was actually yellow carded for diving. I don't know, I, I, was, I thought he played the ball, but I'd be interested to know what anyone else thinks. I felt some of our forwards trying to make heroes of themselves, taking stupid shots. Well, Raul was taking far too many stupid shots. Normally playing the ball off. Um, even right at the death when we could have pulled the game back, people taking shots that you wonder why they were doing it. Uh, these shots were rubbish, and we don't score goals like that, and we didn't. I think we need someone who has a strong presence in the box if we, we're going to go forward um, during a January transfer window. Someone with a really strong presence because we need someone like Bolly but in the forward half. Anyway, what do I know? So that's all the best. Oh, Happy New Year to everyone uh, in the Wolves world, especially to you, Dave. And I'll see you guys in the next uh, game in the Premier League, which is I think in a couple of weeks. Bye. Hello, Devlin Dave. It's David here giving you my international fans' reaction for yesterday's game, Watford 2, Wolves 1. As you can, st as you can see, I'm still in Palam in Goa, enjoying the, the sunshine after the, the poor performance yesterday from, from Wolves. Uh, yeah, just starting the, in the first half, I was very impressed with Watford. They pressed us very well and had the intensity to their game under the new manager, Nigel Pearson. And I felt they really uh, got amongst us and forced us into errors. Dendonka giving the, the ball away after a poor passing to him from Cody, really. Smart finish from our nemesis, Gerard Delefeu, across Patricio. And yeah, we didn't create too much in the in the first half. Uh, when we did get any opportunities, then once again in the final third, our decision making was quite kind of poor. And yeah, going into the second half, it was typical Wolves giving away uh, an early goal and Watford going 2 0 up. Decore, smart finish, Raul losing the, the ball on the halfway line and he had a big deflection off Cody and we're 2-0 down and chasing the game. Neto, who was probably our brightest uh, player on the day, finished well and yeah, we got the red card, a VAR decision going our way for once and yeah, but that kind of helped Watford, I felt that they could sit in a bit deeper then and protect their, their lead and rightfully they came out winners. So yeah, uh, Poor performance from Wolves and hopefully 
against Manchester United, we can we can pick it up and get back on the right track. Thanks to the guys that contributed to this one. As I say, if you want to get involved with your area, your country, get in touch in the comment section below and we'll get you involved. And until the next one, I'm Dadlin Dave, always Wolves.